Using synthetic division and the rational roots theorem to factor a larger degree polynomial. So right here we have a third degree polynomial that I want to factor. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is do the rational roots theorem to figure out what our potential zeros are. Okay. Factors of the last term over factors of the first term, positive or negative. So we know that we have plus or minus factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And factors of our first term, first term is just 1, so this is just going to be over 1. So we know that our only potential zeros are positive, negative 1, 2, 3, or 6. So what we can actually do is do synthetic division with all eight of these numbers until we get a, or start doing synthetic division without these eight numbers until we get a remainder of zero and we know we have a factor. Typically, that's going to be pretty involved in a lot of work. So what can happen is a couple of things. First, what your teacher may do is say factor this knowing that only a couple of these may be pot real potential zeros. Okay, so they're going to eliminate some of these options for you. So instead of having to check all eight, you're down to checking two or three. The other thing you could do is graph them. Okay, so put in your graphing calculator and a graph for this particular example comes up something like this. Okay, so here is our possible rational zeros, but then we also could look at our graph and say, okay, what are our realistic zeros? Okay, looking at this, you know, we could say, okay, negative 1 doesn't make any sense because there's no zero around here. Positive 6 doesn't make any sense because there's not a zero here. So we can use process of elimination to figure out what our more realistic zeros could be, making our work significantly less than having to plug everything in. Okay, so say we look at this and, you know, this looks like 2. We can do synthetic division with 2 then to simplify this down. Let's go try that out. So we do synthetic division with our number 2 and then making sure we write all the coefficients up. 1, 0, negative 6, and oops, 1, 0, negative 7, and then positive 6. Okay, and do synthetic division. Drop our 1 down. Multiply and add. 2, 4, negative 3, negative 6, and 0. Okay, so 2 actually did work. That's really cool. So what we can do then is interpret this results. What we just found is our quotient to be x squared plus 2x minus 3. And what we did was we divided this by this term. So what we have to then include is this is going to be equal to our original polynomial. Part of it is, in, in main, the main challenge that we have is we divided by 2. Remember how we did synthetic division is we plugged in the number that makes our factor 0. So by plugging in 2, this is actually doing division by x minus 2. Okay, remember the opposite. Dividing by, if we're dividing by x minus 2, we put the 2 here. Okay, so this statement here is exactly the same thing as up here. We can continue our factoring. This turns into x plus 3, x minus 1. We still have our x minus 2. And then finishing it out, this is 2, negative 3, and 1. Remember, whenever we're multiplying, each term has to be 0. So these are our three real answers. Looking at our graph, it makes sense that if I looked at the long, wrong one. This is actually 1, but this would be 1, this would be 2, this would be negative 3. So using our rational roots theorem, we found our potential zeros. You could use a graph, process of elimination, or your teacher can help you in sort of figuring out where to go from there using synthetic division to solve it all out.